of grade 4. Our lesson for today about how to approximate to the nearest unit and to the nearest tenth. We already studied how to approximate to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, and 10,000. Actually, we will use the same concept, okay? If we have Like this. We said before we have to ignore the decimal part. Actually, today in our lesson, we can't ignore the decimal part. Okay? We will deal with two places only the unit, place value, and the tenth. And tenth. Don't forget to write th in this place value. And we said before. We have two types of digits, okay? We have poor and rich. The poor digits are what? 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the rich digits called what? Or what? 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the rich digits actually give 1 to the next place value. Here we, what we will do. Actually, we will look at the 10th place value. Here in 10th place value, we have what? We have 4. This 4, poor or rich, actually 4 is what? Poor. So we give nothing to this 4. So I will write 4 as it is, and we will write 3 as it is, and we will write the decimal point, and I will replace this 4 with 0, and this 5 with 0. And we said before, if we have zeros after the decimal point, I can ignore it, because it's meaningless. So I will I will ignore it. So the answer will be only 34. Another example. Okay, if we have a fraction like this, 3, 3 over 4. We said if you have a fraction like this before, ignore it. Actually, to approximate to the nearest unit or to the nearest things, I can ignore the fraction or the decimal part. So what I will do, I need to convert this first to decimal then I will approximate it. So, to convert it to decimal, you have to do what? Actually, I have to convert this 4 to 10 or 100 or 1000. Can I convert it to 10? No, I can't. But I can convert it to 100. What I will do, I will times, make it times 25 down and times 25 up. So, it will be what? It will be 75 over 100. Now, I can convert it to decimal. So, it will be what? It will be here I have two zeros, and here up I have two digits, so it will be 0 0.75. Now we have a decimal number. Can I convert it to, uh, can I approximate it? Yes, I can approximate. Approximate to the nearest what? To the nearest unit. Where is the unit? The unit here is 0. And here I have in the tenth 7. 7 here, poor or rich. 7 actually is what? Rich. So we give this 0, 1. So this 0 will be 1. And I will write. Here, the approximation sign, don't forget it. Here, 0 will be 1, and then decimal point, and we'll replace zero with, uh, 7 with 0 and 5 with 0. We said we can ignore it. If you want to write it, okay. If you want to write 1 only, it will be okay too. So, here I have some solved examples. Let's see. Here, approximate each of the following numbers to the nearest unit. If I have here 10.1, what I will do? Here in units we have 0 and 10 place value we have 1. 1, ask yourself, 1, poor or rich? Actually 1 is what? This one is what? Is poor. So we give not well to 0. So 0, I will write it as it is. And I will write this one as it is. So it will be 10. The next one, 7 uh, over 10. Here I have to convert this fraction to decimal actually here in the denominator 10. So I can write it in decimal. It will be here we have 0 with 1, with uh, 10 with 1, 0, and here up one digit. So it will be 0 or 0 0.7. Here in 10th place value we have 7, and in unit we have 0. Ask yourself, is this 7 poor or rich? Actually, 7 is what is rich. We give 1 to 0, so this 0 will be 1. And I will replace this 7 with 0, so I can ignore it, as we said before. The next one, 624. Uh, uh, zero nine. Here I have in the unit 4, but in 10 we have what? We have 0. So 0, 4, will give not to this 4. So it will be 624. The last one here, 1 over 8. 
1 over 8. Can I convert it to decimal? Ask yourself, can I convert it to decimal? Actually, I can. I can convert this 8 to 1000. What I will do, I will make it time is 125. 125 then and 125 up. So it will be 125 over 1000. Now can I write it? In, I can write it in the decimal form. So it will be 0 0.125. Ask yourself. Here in tens we have what? In tens we have 1. In units we have 0. This one, poor or rich, poor. So we'll give none to zero. So the approximation will be what will be zero. Another type of questions. Approximate to the nearest kilogram. If he asked you to approximate to the nearest kilogram, to the nearest meter, to uh, pound or, uh, or LE, all of them mean what? All of them mean approximate to the nearest unit. All of them have the same meaning. So, but you have to remember that. One uh, one hundred centimeter equal one meter, and one thousand meter equal one kilometer, and one else, and one hundred piasters equal what? Equal one pound. And already we studied this before. Here, the first one. If we have here a number like this, nine million seven hundred forty-five thousand three hundred and twelve centimeter, and I need to convert it to kilometer. To convert from centimeter to kilometer, you have to divide the word over what? Divide over 100,000. So here I have how many zero? One, two, three, four, five. So I will put the decimal point after five digits from the right. After count one, two, three, four, five. So it will be between four and seven. So it will be 97 point, and I will write the same digit as it is. Now I convert it to kilometer. Can I approximate it? Yes, approximated to the nearest what? To the nearest unit. So in unit here we have seven, and then we have what? We have four. Ask yourself, four, poor or rich? Actually four is what? Is poor. So we give not to seven. So the approximation will be only 97 kilometer. The next one, approximate to the nearest LE. We said approximate to LE. To BAM, all of them mean what? Approximate to the nearest unit. Here we have. PT, that means piastres. If we have here 569,425, how I approximate it? First, you need to convert from PE, from piastres to the Egyptian. So, you will do what? You have to divide over what? Over 100. So, you will put the decimal point here between 4 and 2, and then approximate. Approximate to what? To the nearest unit. Here we have 2 in 10. So we'll give not to 4. So the result, the approximation will be 5,694. That's it. The second part of our lesson actually, how to approximate. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, we have, I missed one. But the second part in our lesson is how to approximate to the nearest state. We will use the same concept if I have a number like this. In this part, I will deal with what? I will deal with the tenth place value and what hundreds, hundred, hundred. Don't forget to write th on both of them. Hundreds of place value. What I will do? I will look at the hundreds. If I have poor or rich in hundreds of place, poor will give nothing to tenth. Rich will give one. The same concept. Here we have 45 and 3, I will write it as it is. So the first part, I will write it as it is. And then I will ask myself, 2 here, 2, poor or rich, actually 2, poor. So we'll give none, 2, 3, so 3 will be as it is. See, so this is my answer. The next one. Another example, if I have a number like this. Actually, I have also four digits, and this four digit will give what? Will give nothing to zero. So I will write seven as it is, and the decimal point as it is, and I will write what? Zero. 
I will replace this three and the seven with zero. And we said before, after or before the decimal point is the right side, if we have zero, I can ignore it. So the answer here will be seven only. That's it. And now we will see some solved examples in this part. Here, approximate each of the following number to the nearest one decimal place. What is the meaning of one decimal place? Actually, one decimal place is the same thing as what was to approximate to the, uh, to the nearest tenth. So, the nearest tenth means what? One decimal place. Let's see. The first number, if I have here 43.95, what I will do? I will look here, 9 tenth. So, 5 is what? 100. So, I will ask myself, 5 here, poor or rich, 5 is what? Rich. So, we we'll give this 9, 1. So, this 9 will be what? 10. So, I will write 0 and carry out 1. 1, where 1 plus 3 equal what? 4. And I will write 4 as it is. So, here it will be 44. The next example, 121.005. Here, I have in the 10th place value, I have 0. And in the hundreds also I have zero. So zero is poor. So both of them will be zero. So the result will be 121. The last one, if I have here fraction, mixed number, here I have whole and proper fraction. What I will do? Here we have need to approximate or uh, need to before approximate we need to convert it to decimal. This part. 3 over 4. I convert it to decimal by doing what? Time is um, 24, uh, 25 down and times 25 up. So here it will be 449 and uh, 75 over 100. So it will be 449.75. What I did, I uh, times 25 up and 25 down to convert it to this one. And here the result will be 449.75. Can I approximate it now? Yes. In the tenth we have seven, and in the hundreds we have five. Ask yourself that always we look at what? At the hundreds. In the hundreds place value, I have what? I have five. Five poor a rich, actually five rich. So we'll give one to the seven. So seven will be eight. And I will write the same number as this. That's it. Now we have another kind of question. Find the result of each of the following operations, then approximate the result to the required approximation. Okay, the first one, 158.24 minus 62.76. First, what I will do? Actually, here we have what? Normal subtracting. So I will do normal subtracting. So the result will be 95.48. Then I have to approximate. Approximate to what? He asked me to approximate the nearest whole number. What is the meaning of nearest whole number? The nearest whole number means to the nearest unit. So, the nearest unit, the nearest whole number, the nearest kilogram, the nearest meter, the nearest pound, all of them mean what? To approximate to the what? The nearest unit. Here, where is the unit here? Actually, the unit here is 5. So, I will look before it. Before 5, we have what? 4. 4, rich or poor? 4 is poor. So, we'll give not to 5. So, I will write 5 as it is and 9 as it is. And I will ignore this part. That's it. The next one, 53.64 plus 8.601, equal what? Actually here is what normal adding. So what I will do, I will add, then I will take this result and I will approximate it. Approximate what? Also I will approximate it to the, the nearest whole number. Approximate to the nearest whole number mean approximate to the nearest unit. So the result here will be 62.241. So where is the unit 2? Where is the tenth 2? So I will look the 2 at the tenth and I will ask myself 2 here, poor or rich? Actually 2 is poor. So we give nothing so, to this 2. So I will write 2 as it is and 6 as it is. What about this part? Actually I will replace this part with zeros. And the zeros before the decimal point mean this. So I will ignore it. The last one here. Actually, I can see it, okay? I can see it well from this. So, the, uh, the last one, it will be uh, 251.76 uh, minus 38 and a quarter. To write this, 
in the decimal form, uh, in the decimal form, I have to multiply times 25 up and times 25 down. So it will be 38 and 25 over 100. I can see. This, so the result will be what? The result will be 213.51. Now, I will need to approximate it to the nearest tenth. tenth. What? So I will deal with what? I will deal with tenth and hundredth. So I will look at the hundreds. In hundreds here we have what? We have one. So one poor or rich, actually one is poor. So we we'll give one to this five. So five will be as it is. So it will be 213.5. And this is our lesson for today. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you.